Have you ever wondered how a single decision can change the course of history? Cast your mind back to the early 1940s, a time when the world was caught in the relentless grip of World War II. Nations were locked in a bitter, brutal conflict that had sprawled across the globe, leaving no corner untouched. The United States, once a distant spectator, had been thrust into the conflagration following the surprise attack on Pearl Harbor by Japan in December 1941. This cataclysmic event marked the beginning of a new chapter in the war, as the USA joined its allies in the fight against the Axis powers. As the war raged on, the tension between the USA and Japan escalated. Each side was determined to emerge victorious and neither was willing to back down. This was a high-stakes game of chess on a global scale with every move, every decision potentially altering the course of the war. Meanwhile, in the shadows of this global conflict, a top-secret project was underway. The Manhattan Project, as it was clandestinely known, was a concerted effort by the USA, with support from the United Kingdom and Canada, to develop a weapon of unfathomable power. A nuclear bomb. Some of the brightest minds of the time, including Robert Oppenheimer and Enrico Fermi, were brought together with a single, daunting task to unlock the devastating potential of atomic energy before their adversaries could. The development of the nuclear bomb was more than just a scientific endeavor. It was a race against time, a ticking clock. The scientists knew that if they were successful, they would create a weapon that could end the war and save countless lives. But they also knew that if they failed, or if they were too late, the consequences could be catastrophic. As the world was embroiled in the throes of war, a new weapon of unparalleled destruction was being born. What drives a nation to use a weapon that could annihilate an entire city in seconds? This question takes us back to the summer of 1945, at the tail end of the Second World War. The Potsdam Declaration, a statement issued by the leaders of the Allied powers, had outlined the terms for Japan's surrender. The declaration stated, in no uncertain terms, that Japan must surrender or face prompt and utter destruction. The alternative was unthinkable. Yet Japan refused to yield. The United States was left with a grave decision to make. President Harry S. Truman, a man known for his decisiveness, was at the helm. He was faced with the unimaginable task of deciding whether to deploy the most destructive weapon known to man. The atomic bomb, a product of years of scientific endeavor, held the power to bring the war to a swift conclusion. But at what cost? The decision was not made lightly. The U.S. hoped to minimize the loss of American lives and bring an end to the war. They also hoped to demonstrate their unprecedented military strength to the world, particularly to the Soviet Union, with whom tensions were already brewing. But why Hiroshima? Why was this city chosen to bear the brunt of such a terrifying force? Hiroshima was a major military hub, housing significant Japanese army and navy units. Its industrial and military facilities were densely packed, and it had not yet been heavily damaged by conventional bombings. The city's geographical features, surrounded by hills that would amplify the bomb's destructive power, made it an ideal target. The decision to drop the bomb was a calculated one, made with a heavy heart and the hope of a swift end to the war. It was a decision that would demonstrate the destructive power of nuclear weapons to the world, a display that would echo through the decades, shaping global politics and attitudes towards warfare. A decision was made, a city was chosen, and the course of history was about to change forever. August 6, 1945, a date etched in the annals of history. But why? The dawn of this fateful day painted a serene picture. The Enola Gay, a Boeing B-29 Superfortress bomber, took flight from Tinian Island, carrying within its belly a force that would redefine warfare and global politics. The little boy, as the bomb was ironically named, was about to be unleashed on the city of Hiroshima. As the Enola Gay traversed the Pacific skies, the crew members were oblivious to the magnitude of destruction they were about to inflict. The bomb doors opened, and at approximately 8.15 in the morning, the little boy descended towards its target. The world held its breath. Then, a blinding flash of light. A shockwave that shattered the morning calm and leveled buildings as if they were mere toys. The city was engulfed in an inferno, the heat of which was so intense that it vaporized those closest to the blast's epicenter. The little boy had detonated approximately 600 meters above the city, unleashing a force equivalent to 15,000 tons of TNT. In the immediate aftermath of the explosion, Hiroshima was a city of ruins. The once bustling streets were now a desolate landscape of rubble and ash. 
The survivors, many grievously wounded, stumbled through the wreckage in a state of shock. The human toll was staggering. An estimated 80,000 people perished instantly, with tens of thousands more succumbing to their injuries and radiation sickness in the following days, weeks, and months. The city, which had been a vibrant center of culture and industry, was reduced to a smoldering wasteland. Yet, the world was not prepared for the images that would emerge from Hiroshima. Images of a city erased from the map, of survivors bearing horrific burns, of shadows etched into walls by the intense heat. These images would serve as a stark reminder of the destructive potential of nuclear weapons. In an instant, Hiroshima was no more. The world had witnessed the devastating power of nuclear warfare. How did the bombing of Hiroshima shape the world we live in today? This is a question that reverberates through the annals of history. The aftermath of Hiroshima marked the end of World War II, but it also ushered in a new era, the nuclear age. The mushroom cloud that towered over Hiroshima wasn't just a symbol of unprecedented destruction, but also a harbinger of the power humanity had unlocked. The world had to grapple with the reality of this power. It was a power that could end wars, yet it was a power that could obliterate entire cities in a blink. This reality sparked a contentious debate about the necessity and morality of such force. Was the bombing of Hiroshima an unavoidable act to end a devastating war, or was it an unnecessary display of might? The bombing of Hiroshima, a tragic chapter in our history, forever serves as a stark reminder of the devastating power humanity wields, and the responsibility that comes with it.